My name is Joanna and I'm in my final year doing mathematics at the University of Oxford and I've got exams coming up in two weeks. So safe to say I've got a lot of studying to do. I'm sick of daydreaming, I just want the feeling of you in my bed. All right, it is just past half 7 a.m. right now. There are no classes for me today. There are actually no classes for me at all. Starting from now, I've only got my last three exams to go and then I'm officially a uni grad, if I pass, but let's not jinx that, please. That means that today is gonna be quite simple. I can make my own study schedule. I can do whatever I want, pretty much. So I'm thinking that it would be good. It would be really good for me to go through some of the problem sheets, some of the last problem sheets that I got for some of my courses today, and also review some of the middle bits of my courses because I feel like, at least for me, those are the chapters that get overlooked sometimes because I always focus on either the beginning or the end, and the middle kind of gets overlooked in the process. So definitely want to prevent that from happening. And then I'm gonna go to my college to grab some lunch at midday probably. And after that, I definitely want to get a workout in. So hopefully I can bring you along to that as well so you can see how a full day in my life looks like. So yeah, without further ado, we need to do some maths. I'm down at this waistline, right below your waistline. Want you by my head. I'm down at all this face. I just finished half of the problem sheet, which is really, really good progress for so early in the morning. And I'm gonna step away from that to revise uh, some sections of uh, another one of my courses so I can interlace some of my uh, modules, some of the concepts that I'm learning about because I don't want to be spending too much time on only one of them and risk being too tired later on in the day to study something else. So I want to make sure I study a bit of everything in the morning when I'm feeling at my most productive. But if we're talking about exams, every single time I do a problem sheet or I do a past paper, I realize how important it is to keep our problem solving skills up to date and to always be sure that we know our fundamentals, our math fundamentals, and we know what little tricks to use in order to be able to solve a problem that we see at first glance. And in order to keep these skills up to date and to ensure your best performance, I would highly, highly recommend Brilliant, who are also very, very kindly sponsoring today's video. Brilliant is an interactive learning platform that offers courses in math, data science, science, and computer science. What makes Brilliant so helpful, especially for someone doing math like me, is the way it transforms complex concepts concepts into engaging bite-sized lessons. As I've said before, whenever I'm preparing for exams, whenever I'm revising, I often find myself needing to revisit fundamental concepts or tackle advanced problems. Brian's courses, like their multivariable calculus and group theory, have allowed me since first year to dive deeper into topics that are very, very crucial for my studies. The interactive problem-solving approach helps reinforce my understanding in a way that's both effective and definitely very fun. Plus, Brilliant is perfect for those moments when I need a break from traditional textbooks but still want to stay productive. It's like, you know, having a personal tutor that's available 24-7, guiding me through step-by-step -step explanations and providing instant feedback on my progress. As you probably know if you're a regular here, ever since I've started uni, I've been on the constant lookout to branch out from pure maths into some other areas like data visualization, programming, and any computer science fundamentals. Brilliant's courses on programming with Python and data visualization are fantastic for this. Their Python course, for example, is perfect for beginners and helps you build a solid foundation in coding, while every single one of their data science courses teaches you how to explore and visualize data in a meaningful way, making complex information easier to understand, which is so, so helpful in today's age. Whenever I'm on the go or just need a quick refresher between study sessions, I can just jump onto Brilliant and I can learn anything, anytime, anywhere. It's incredibly convenient and keeps me on top of my game, keeps me accountable even during the busiest times of the term. So if you're looking for a way to boost your learning, whether you're preparing for exams or just wanting to learn something for fun, Brilliant is the perfect way to go and I would highly, highly recommend you check it out. So do not hesitate to click the link in my description below, which is brilliant.org slash Joanna Roman to get started for free for a full 30 days and also get a 20% off an annual premium subscription. And now let's go and do some continuous optimization revision. I swear this revision timetable is the thing that's keeping me going for the past three years straight. Like, if there's one revision method that I would recommend is to do active recall and space repetition combined with one of these 
to know exactly what you need to revise, what you haven't revised in a while, and to give yourself confidence levels on how well you know the material. It's definitely a game changer. And if you want to know more about my exact study process using this, then check out a video that I've made just a month ago called How I Study for Exams. Link is in bio and in the cards here. Definitely top tier revision methods in my opinion. so i just managed to finish the problem sheet i'm very very pleased it was definitely a lot harder than i remembered but at least we got it done and we have the ideas saved in my mind and also right below the question as you probably saw me zooming throughout hopefully if anything from this problem sheet comes up i've got it covered but we'll see obviously it is very close to midday right now which means that it's almost lunchtime the only thing i for sure need to be doing in terms of maths today for the rest of the day will be to revise the second quarter of my third course which is random matrix theory and i'll probably get started right now just before going to lunch and then whatever i don't finish now i'll finish afterwards definitely very pleased with my productivity levels for now but hopefully we keep it up Alright, so I've gotten back like an hour and a half ago. Since then I've changed my clothes because it's absolutely boiling in here. Like living in an attic is not great in summer or in winter. Like in winter it gets freezing and in summer it's just like a sauna. But we cannot really do anything about it so we just accept it, you know. The walk had a great effect on me and my energy levels. In a sense that I got back with a lot more energy to do more maths. So instead of going over my notes to revise the random matrix theory a lecture as I planned before I managed to do one past paper question in continuous optimization and I'm gonna do at least one more past paper question right now before jumping into RMT just because I feel like it would be a waste not to not do some actual problem solving right now when I feel like I have the energy to do so and then I can leave the easier parts for later in the day so yeah let's see how long it takes me to get completely burned out for today so yeah, without further ado, let's jump into some more past papers. Okay guys, you know when you think of uni-level maths, you think of that very pure maths, very abstract level of mathematical knowledge and everything. Meanwhile, I'm right here, literally drawing trees. I don't, don't get me wrong, I really like this course on genetics and everything, but if we get a tree like that to draw in the exam, then I'd be very, very happy because I think I kind of got to a point where I can just, I'm, I master the drawing tree. So please, please give me a tree. It is now approaching 6 p.m. I've managed to do three past paper questions and also review that middle bit of uh, random matrix theory that I wanted to do. So I think is now is the perfect time for a workout. I'm pretty sure I won't be doing any more maths today. I'm very, very pleased with what I did throughout today. I think that filming definitely kept me accountable. So thank you for that. You definitely helped me achieve a good level of productivity. And yeah, in terms of the workout, I'm gonna do a home workout today for two main reasons. The first one being that it's gonna be packed at the gym if I go now. And then the second is that 
I really really like to sometimes do body weight exercises and to focus on those so yeah let's get a workout in and then we can finally chill for today So the workout is finally done, I'm really really glad I got to do something else than mats today. It felt really good to be moving, to be active. And yeah, it is finally time for a more relaxed evening. It is half 8pm and I'm not gonna do much from now on, I'm just gonna prepare my oats for tomorrow morning, uh, do some cleaning and then pretty much just chill, maybe pick a new book to read or just stay on my phone as we all do. But yeah, we'll see. This also brings me to the end of this video, I want to thank you so so much for watching. I know especially in exam season life can get a bit boring so it probably wasn't the most interesting video but I still hope that you have enjoyed it and it gave you a little bit of study motivation or something. And yeah, I cannot wait for exams to be over and for summer to officially start. So yeah, if you want to see more of me, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like, you subscribe to my channel, comment down below if you have any questions, any video suggestions or anything at all. If you want to see more of me, you can follow me on my Instagram. I definitely am a lot more active there and post more of my day-to-day -day life. Thanks again for watching and I really, really hope to see you in the next one. I'm sick of daydreaming I just want the feeling of you in my bed I'm down at this waistline Right below your waistline Want you by my head